It's your boy Waifu Gate coming at you with another video. So today we're going to be doing uh, Underrated Card of the Week. It's a series that comes out every Wednesday. And today we're going to be doing a um, card called Murderous Rider. So this card has had its ups and downs in regards to popularity. Recently I haven't seen a lot of lists that include this aside from like maybe Mono Black. Uh, maybe Sakdos, like Knights specifically, like Red Black Knights, uh, not really Sakdos, so to speak. Uh, Mardu can sometimes include this, but it's a little rough with the double black, especially since Tournament Grounds won't allow you to cast Swift End. It will allow you to cast the creature part of the card, but it's more important to resolve the Swift End and then into the creature, even if you're in... Uh, like knights if you're an aggressive list being able to take out a planeswalker and whatnot and a big creature so why is this card underrated why is it good why do i think it's nice the primary reason why i like it right now is that it is a three mana instant card that can kill nissa who shakes i think that's why it's very good it also gives you lifelink, like a 2-3 body, um, which we've seen the 2-3 body being a pretty efficient blocker, being able to wall off stuff like Robber of the Rich, being able to dodge removal, such as Bone Crusher Giant, very strong. It just dodges a lot of removal, basically, because 3 is a bit hard to hit. Like Oath of Kaya can take this out. But if this is hitting Oath of Kaya, maybe it's not hitting your Tamiyo, your other Planeswalkers, etc. It's not terrible. And the lifelink is, is very, very important. Being able to destroy something like Questing Beast, like the closest card right now, I think. Now, you can compare cards to cards, um, but sometimes things are just different, right? Um, so Eliminate is close to Murderous Rider because of CMC. So this is two mana, it's cheaper, and it can blow up a Planeswalker or a creature with CMC 3 or less. So we can have a lot of overlap with these, right? This can kill Rotting Regasar, for example. This can kill Teferi 3, so can this. But this causes me to lose two life and requires me to have double black mana. So what's the advantage? Being able to kill Questing Beast with this, insane. Uh, being able to kill, uh, you know, Tamiyo, being able to kill anything that, like a, a Eugene, right? Uh, Ugin, for example. Because, like, Eliminate won't touch Ugin, and Ugin's kind of a threat. Sometimes when Ugin comes down, the game is over. Um, just because you lose all of your stuff. But to recover, it's nice to have a card, because then, like, what did they do? Maybe they two for one you with Eugene, and then you still have a creature that you can play after. So it's like the advantages are the versatility in exchange for a harsher mana cost, basically, is what I like about this card, is that you're allowed to you know, have a blocker later on in the game when it's relevant, or just being able to use your mana efficiently, like, oh, I have three mana this turn, now I can dump the rider onto the field and you know, still Omen of the Sea or something, let's say I have five mana open. Um, this is very specific to this deck, but just in general, I think that this card can fit into like Esper as well. Just being able to fight off Nyssa for a little cheaper, not always having to tap out for ECD. Um, it's nice. It's cool. Um, and I think that it's better overall than Eliminate because it mainly because it comes with the body. It's very versatile and because it just hits more targets. So I really, really enjoy this, especially in Sultai where you're ramping. Um, I'm thinking about brewing uh, Abzan with Murderous Rider, Veraska, maybe like an Eerie Ultimatum, stuff like that where it would be kind of fun and expansive. And I think Murderous Rider even has a slot in that deck, especially since we can sack this to like Veraska Forehead, um, this Veraska here, later on and put it back into our deck, etc. It's just kind of cool, you know? I like that, that type of interaction, so... Um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for uh, underrated card of the week for next week, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, there's also a code 
uh, in each of my videos now moving forward. I'm going to be trying to include those. It'll pop up in text. It probably already popped up in this video potentially. Um, but uh, first person to redeem that, you know, gets the code, um, I think is how it's going to work. So, you know, uh, that's also another reason to, you know, just, just to look out for in the videos and whatnot. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. There'll be a, um, uh, a panel on the, the end of the video uh, where you can just click or you can click on the button, whatever works. Um, and you can also drop by my stream if you want to, to ask questions, to talk, whatever you guys want to do. Um, I'm always there. I'm trying to provide that community just for a chill atmosphere with like jazz and stuff. So if you guys are down for that. Um, stream from 2 p.m. CST until about uh, 8 p.m. CST or so, about a six hour stream. So appreciate it. And I hope this was helpful, hope it was fun, and I will catch you guys on the next video.